Hello, hello at noon. Today is Tuesday, the 2nd of February. So, 2nd of February. Right. Some of you might pay attention to that, some probably don't, but we know that 2nd of February is Groundhog Day. I have a trouble with saying that name actually. So it would be a badger day or maybe porcupine day or maybe a hedgehog day for me a little bit better. <laughs> but it is a groundhog day. And um, today we are looking for the shadow. Well, actually we looked for the shadow at 6.30 in the morning apparently in Philadelphia. Um, everybody was watching Phil the groundhog uh, coming out from his hall and trying to figure it out. Is he seeing his shadow or not? Well. Let me tell you in a moment what happened with that. But uh, in the meantime, let me introduce myself. My name is Anna Maria Hartley and I'm coming to you from Oakville, Ontario. I'm inspiring women to create a future they desire and live healthier life. That healthier life means not only looking after yourself physically, but also looking after yourself mentally and really, really loving that life. So my motto is, love life forever and seriously let's love our life forever we have only one life we live it every single day so let's love it what we have and today as i said i promise that we're gonna deliver today what happened with the groundhog day <laughs> right so any of you know what happened yes yes so he actually did not see his shadow. What does that mean? All right, so he didn't see his shadow and what that means is that apparently spring is coming early. <laughs> spring is coming early. So uh, if you believing in that and if you are absolutely putting everything on your predictions, that's what that is. But quietly, I have to tell you that unfortunately it only is good for like 30 to 40 percent that he's correct and he's actually right with the shadow so are we looking at another four weeks of winter instead of six? Oh, we don't know we have no idea kind of same like with our lockdown we have no idea when we're gonna be out or not um this is out of our regular people control i think <laughs> okay um I would like to do also some shout outs today again because yesterday it seems that my video, I don't know what happened yesterday, my video just went poof and it was gone. Um, so let me do some shout outs and um, that would be to Mylan, to Sheila and to Cheryl which are my brand new clients from January, brand new, there is a lot of other clients which are already in there. So those three are getting on the board so if you're my brand new client your name is going to on my little board don't break the yellow and also a huge 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 shout out to Maria uh, Mariana sorry Mariana and my Mariana became our team member and I'm really really happy to have her in my team this is something huge it's nice to grow our team and she is our brand new member she's doing great we're doing our uh, beautiful um, that get together sessions every single week with my team so it's actually pretty cool when we get together we discuss how we do business and what happens in our businesses and also we celebrate we celebrate a lot of different things in there uh, like getting a new client <laughs> for example <laughs> right um so shout outs to mariana but let's go back to the shadows shadows uh which are not only about the grand hawk okay so um, I actually discovered that the Grand Hawk Day is from 1887. This is when it was established and it's a Dutch tradition, apparently. Um, so they, uh, they always had that and officially it was established in 1887, quite a long time ago. It, you know, the, the little Grand Hawk has been there for over 130 years, so that's kudos to him. And um, before that, apparently we were looking at either badgers, um coming out of the hole or some people are saying that it's also hedgehogs uh, which were um involved in that all right and today is a national hedgehog day so i have to say badgers uh, are cute uh groundhogs are cute but hedgehogs 
they are adorable they are adorable they're one of the pets which are quite popular out there um, there's a lot of different pictures on instagram or facebook which you can find of little guys um, they display emotions very well and they easy pet to take care of but some areas don't allow them as, as pets as well and tell i'll tell you the story actually i had a hedgehog for a Probably about three four days maybe in my life uh, not exactly as a pet I would say it um, my my dad came home when I was little he came in with a little box and in the box we had a hedgehog so it turns out that the hedgehog I, I guess it was lost around his area where he worked and people actually got him and he's not supposed to be there it wasn't an area for hedgehogs whatsoever um so they got him in and he said okay before we're gonna take him back to let's say a forest or something uh we have him in the box we had the little fella on our balcony and he was doing fine the only problem with him being there was that actually it turns out that he had fleas so my mom was not happy <laughs> My mom was not happy. I did not know that hedgehogs could have fleas, but apparently, according to my mom, he had fleas and he was just there. But later on, we released him into the forest and it was all good. Um, I was quite happy. Quite an interesting animal for me. <laughs> That's just way. I had a lot of animals in my life, as you know. But we did not look for his shadow. I have no idea what... Uh, time of a year that was I think it was fall but um, we did not we didn't know anything about the shadow of any animal at that point so it's quite interesting that this tradition is uh, in the northern um, states or actually like in, in up, uh, America because I didn't come with that tradition that's for sure not but today I wanted also to tell you that shadows um, as I was looking for the shadow <laughs> it turns out that we have our own shadows and i'm not talking about the shadow when you're standing exactly in in the sun and you have a shadow behind you exactly it's more of a shadow on the inside so the shadow which we see it's exactly the same reflection kind of of us and the shadow which i was talking i'm talking about is um something that contains all the parts of us which we don't want to show to others and which we hide and we try to deny it so it's like it's like having two personalities right it's like us being the way we are and then we have this other shadow personality in us somewhere there behind us somewhere in there and most of the time we're trying to hide it because we know that it's not going to be accepted by our friends, by our family. But most of all, we think that it's not going to be accepted by ourselves. So, yes, a lot of times those are kind of the bad things that we have within us. Like, you know, the anger, envy, um, jealousy and things like that that we know that other people are not accepting we are not accepting we're trying to kind of go like no 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 no. i don't have that in me and yet we do and if it's not something that we talk about control it or work on it's going to come out at some point so a lot of times what we see is actually let's say actors who are absolutely doing amazing things and then suddenly they break free kind of an idea and they, they just lose it and that's what we think it's actually those shadows in their personality which are coming out um so there's quite a lot of a lot of different people who who have that but it happens to all of us it's it's our trade it's a human human thing to have kind of those two things going on in our life but um, it also determines what we can and cannot do in our life. And that's pretty sad that there is something shadowing us which can determine what can we do or not do. Like, really? Yeah, really. Because it's still part of you. And it predicts our, our behaviors. So we can do that. So I was trying to figure it out, okay, so if we have this bad, bad person kind of in us uh, or, or those traits which we don't want, how can we bring that light out of the darkness, right? So 
the only way to to do it is actually to bring our greatness and compassion and our um, authenticity so we have to actually agree with ourselves we have to um, accept ourselves the way we are and accept the shadow which we have all right i guess the girl hug has to accept the shadow he's kind of floating with on the 2nd of february and any other day <laughs> but um we have we have a choice we have a choice to accept it we have a choice to work on it and so we can become free and choose what we want to do in our life and what we don't want to do so that's basically what the logistics is and i usually talk about you know self-care and self-love and all those things and believe it or not this is a part of it so we actually have to come in peace with our shadow with that second personality type of an idea um, in order to move forward in order to actually love ourselves and go over it and bring that light into um, our life instead of the shadow so i came across a really cool uh, thing actually on the internet and it's uh, there is a book and the movie okay so there's a book and the movie which is um, done by Debbie Ford and uh, the name of it is The Shadow Effect and I have to say if you have a chance if you have a moment just look it up The Shadow Effect and this will explain to you exactly what I was talking about it will let you know um, what what is this idea of shadow within us like what why do we have a shadow like what is this thing and so we can actually move forward and we can love our life forever with having that shadow in our life and learning to accept ourselves to the fullest so that's what it is this is my tip for today look it up the shadow effect by debbie ford i would absolutely love you to look into that and i'm sure you will discover something about yourself and something that you can be better at something that you can bring in into your um, life and love it and agree with it and so you can become absolutely the greatest person for your own good for any other person which is around you as well all right so this is what it is for today and also just to let you know i have an event coming up on monday all right and this one will be kind of debunking and telling you also um, the mystery of shopping online and shopping with discounts hmm yeah <laughs> how can you shop with discount online there you go uh, so that's on Monday I will post the link in uh, this video as well so you can follow the link and uh, definitely come to my event maybe on Monday uh, but in the meantime I'll see you tomorrow at noon and I will be celebrating something tomorrow as well so cool celebration yes I love celebration there is actually I think every day is good for celebrating something in there right but tomorrow I'll tell you what I'm celebrating uh, today have an absolutely fabulous Groundhog Day and if you don't like Groundhogs go and look at some hedgehog pictures it's gonna make you smile it's gonna make you laugh they are great see you tomorrow <laughs>